Okay, it's been over a year since this question was posed, along with other two other questions on conic sections. So this video answer only addresses problem number one. You're given the equation of a parabola and asked to come up with the equation of a hyperbola that, well, has a conjugate axis that's the same as the directrix of the hyperbola and having one of the foci of the hyperbola uh, equal to the focus of the parabola. And the vertice of the parabola is one of the vertices of the hyperbola. Wow. Okay, so that's the same as posing this question right here. Find the equation of hyperbola with center at negative 5.25, negative 6, one focus at negative 2.75, negative 6, and one vertex at negative 4, negative 6. If you knew all that information, you could write the equation of the hyperbola. So how do you figure that out? Well, let's go to the parabola and see what we've got. Here's the equation of the parabola. I like to put it in vertex form. So I would solve for x and complete the square to put it in vertex form. So uh, I left a space here to complete the square. Half of 12 is 6, 6 squared is 36, so I've got to subtract 36 to keep the right side in balance. I can rewrite it as y plus 6, the quantity squared, minus 20. Divide by 5, and there's the vertex form for the equation of the parabola right there. Okay, And when it's written that way, then this coefficient right here is equal to 1 over 4p. And if I solve for P, I get 5 fourths. And 5 fourths is the directed distance from the vertex to the focus or from the vertex to the directrix. This is distance right here is 5 fourths along with this. And in vertex form, we can easily identify the vertex of the parabola. It's at negative 4, negative 6. There it is. And then the focus is you know, on the interior of the parabola. So if we add 5 fourths to negative 4, we get a negative 11 fourths. Or negative 2 and 2.75. Okay. And now here's the key. The conjugate axis of the Hyperbola is the same as the directrix of the parabola. The directrix is this line right here, which is a distance of 5 fourths from the vertex. So this line is negative 4 plus a negative 5 fourths or negative 5 and a fourth. And this is the conjugate axis of the hyperbola. The conjugate axis is perpendicular to the transverse axis and passes through the center of the hyperbola. And that's the key because that's probably the most important thing when you're trying to find the equation or the, yeah, the equation of a hyperbola is to first locate the center. So there's the center right there, negative 21 fourths, negative six. So if I come back here, the coordinates of this point right here are negative 21 fourths comma negative 6. We know that this distance right here was 5 fourths. And that distance right there from the center of hyperbola to one of the vertices, we use the letter A for that. So that distance, there it is, 5 fourths. And the distance from the center to the focus, which happens to be five halves or two and a half, uh, we call C. And for a hyperbola, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So B squared equals C squared minus A squared. And if you do that calculation and leave it as a fraction, you get 75 sixteenths. So here's your equation. There's the x minus h, where h is the x-coordinate of the center, over a squared, 25 sixteenths if you want, minus y plus 6 the quantity squared over 75 sixteenths equals 1. So if I share my screen real quickly, 
and go to Desmos. There's the parabola. And by the way, if I slide this point along the parabola, the distance from that point to the directrix is always the same as the distance from that point to the focus. And there that is right there, d sub 1, d sub 2. It's always the same. So I'm convinced that this is definitely the equation of the parabola, that this is the vertex, this is the focus of the parabola. If I hide the parabola and show the hyperbola, there's what it looks like. Okay, there's the conjugate axis, which was the directrix of the parabola. There's one of the vertices of the hyperbola, which was the vertex of the parabola. There's the other vertex. I could have also calculated the other focus. And these lines are the asymptotes of the hyperbola, which... are the equations of the hyperbola, of the asymptotes. <sighs> oh, there they are, right there. Opposite of B over A, that's the slope, times X plus, X minus the X coordinate of the center, minus the Y coordinate of the center. No, plus the Y coordinate of the center, actually. Okay, there you go. I uh, hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment, and I'm going to post links to Desmos graphs for the other two questions, too. There you go.